My name is Anna Avery. I'm the PR director for Mount to Coast. Mount to Coast actually launched last year. So we are less than a year old and we launched in April with um, our R1 and our S1. The brand is really dedicated to ultra runners, the craziest runners out there, the ones that are hauling huge miles. So the brand prides itself on durability of shoes. So their shoes, you know, most of the time runners know that their runners, running shoes are gonna last 300 to 500 miles. We have athletes testing our shoes and running in our shoes for over 800 miles. And part of that reason is because of our light cell midsole. So light cell is created, is proprietary to Mount to Coast. Our design team has over 80 combined years of experience from the biggest brands out there. And our head of product, Yeti, is a super critical foaming pioneer. He was doing this before anybody else was doing this. He created light cell um, for maximum durability. We want runners to have shoes that last way longer than 300 to 500 miles, whether that's on road, whether that's on trail or both. Um, the other really cool thing about Mount Coast as a brand in their first three models, which is R1, S1, and P1, racing, everyday trainer, stability shoe, um, is that they have a really cool geometry called go flow. And that helps your foot not only go from front to back, but also move laterally, which as you know, when you run, your foot isn't just moving from front to back. So that helps support that. And then we also have an insert in the midsole called Zero Sag. We borrowed that material from rally cars. So in terms of shock absorption, with, between the light cell midsole and that Zero Sag insert, you are getting top of the line shock absorption that will last you hundreds and hundreds of miles. The other two models that we have, um, the first ones that we launched have a dual lacing system. They're a little bit different than this trail shoe here, which will launch in 2025. Um, but they've got dual lacing system because we heard from so many athletes and ultra runners that when you're logging 100 miles, your feet start to swell and you need that extra room in your toes play. So all Mount to Coast shoes have a wider toe box and then they have that adjustability so that when you're running, you can actually relieve and give your, sh give your shoe, your foot a little more room to breathe. Um, but like I said, this is our new trail shoe. Um, we launched with three road shoes at first. 2025, we're gonna show our trail shoe. So our trail shoe, again, has a dual lacing system here. It's got a Kevlar knit upper, so woven upper. So it's got tons of durability, but it's also really lightweight. And then on the bottom side, we've got the Vibram Mega Grip and Vibram Light Base. So these are four millimeter shark tooth lugs. They're pretty aggressive, give you a lot of grip on the trail. And then the drop on this shoe is also four millimeters. The stack height on this trail shoe is 36 at the heel and 32 at the yeah, forefoot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When did you say this one drops? This will drop early summer of 2025. We're looking at June. So, so uh, price point? This is 180. 180. Yeah, this shoe, this trail shoe is gonna drop early summer and it will be at a price point of 180. And it's the T1, right? And it is called the T1 T for trail. Okay, awesome. I this is Mountain Coast H1. So the H1 is for hybrid, and it will launch um, early fall of 2025. You can see here the grip system. This is Mount Coast proprietary grip system called Versa Grip. Two millimeter lugs here. And you'll see it has dual adjustability as well. Same knit woven upper top. And the really cool thing about the hybrid is that it's a new midsole for Mount Coast. So this midsole is called Circle Cell. It's called Circle Cell because the, the manufacturing of it is actually makes our whole supply chain more circular in that it's hyper sustainable. So this midsole is actually constructed of 100% renewable feedstock. So think organic matter. We partnered with BASF, which is one of the largest chemical uh, companies in the world to figure out how do we create a shoe that's sustainable, but also durable because there's tons of shoes on the market right now that are innovating amazing things in terms of sustainability, but the shoes are not lasting and they're not performing. But we know runners won't sacrifice performance for sustainability. So Mount Coast made both. So this H1 model, same thing as the light cell midsole, it lasts hundreds of miles. We have an athlete who's currently testing there now and he has over a thousand miles on this shoe. Yeah, it's really incredible. And then that one's, you can get the this is going to retail at 160. 160, and that's also yeah. in the summer? That will be in early fall. Early fall. Early fall. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Okay, this drop is going to be 35 at the heel, 29 at the forefoot. It's going to be eight and a half ounces. And again, those lugs are two millimeters. So a little less grip than our trail shoe, 
but certainly more grip than our road. Like you said, it's a hybrid. And this is a hybrid model. So this will take you right from road to trail. That's the H1. 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 Okay, perfect. Okay. All right, Anna, thank you so much for telling me all about the Mount to Coast H1 and the T1. That uh, T1, no, the H1 is the one I tried on earlier. Mm -hmm. And the midsole foam in that, like you said, felt awesome. Like it just felt great on this concrete floor, which is pretty rough on the feet. It felt <laughs> awesome. So I'm excited to try a pair of these for sure. And just thank you so much for taking the time to tell us about them. Of course. Yeah.